Hello and welcome to Castle's Corner. I'm Coach Castle and today is Cooking with Castle. We're going to be having lunch together. I'm going to be cooking something. I don't know what, but it'll be something with steak. Uh, it'll be a five minute meal. I'll show you guys how easy it is to cook good, clean, healthy food very rapidly. And uh, so let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm going to be cooking today. So digging through my fridge, I found some bacon, some steak, some garlic, some onions, rosemary, thyme, uh, mushrooms, spinach, and some red cabbage. So I'm just going to make a quick little stir fry. Uh, let me show you how it's going to go. Alright guys, so first things first, you're going to turn your burner on a medium heat. You're going to of course wash your hands, make sure your cleaning utensils are all washed and clean, everything's all good. Grab a little bit of bacon, I'm just going to julienne that real quick. Once I have my bacon julienne, I'm just going to throw it in my pan, let it slowly render down. While that's rendering, I'm going to get some garlic ready. Just take your uh, whole clove of garlic here, break off a piece or two if it's small. Take off the skin. Same thing with my little onions. Uh, I just got these little baby onions. You guys can use shallots or whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, you don't even have to use this recipe. I don't. Uh, I don't really cook with recipes, I just kind of cook whatever I have laying around and I make it taste good like most of you guys. Uh, the only difference is uh, <laughs> I was a chef for a long time and I understand chemistry and, and what happens to food when you do certain things to it, which basically just makes you a better cook. That's all. Now the bacon fat is rendering, that's going to give us the fat that we're going to need to cook these vegetables and beef in. With the onions and the garlic, it's just really important you get all that skin off there. You don't want to have any in your mouth when you're eating. There's nothing worse than getting a little piece of, of uh, like vegetable skin in your mouth or a piece of dirt or something. So always make sure your stuff's always very clean. Now the next thing to consider when you're cutting things up is cooking order. So when you're going to be cooking the things determines the thickness. So something like onions and garlic shallots, these cook really quickly. You kind of want to sweat them. You don't want them to burn. You don't want them to get black in any particular area. So you want to cut these a little bit thicker and sweat them down first before you add your other things. Now I'm adding these first to build flavor. That's also why I'm cutting them just a little bit bigger than I normally would. Once the bacon's rendered down, these are going to get cooked in the fat. Then I'm going to add my mushrooms, and then my spinach. And then the final thing I'm going to end up adding is my steak. Now with vegetables, just a quick little tip for you guys, things like mushrooms that roll around rapidly if you're not used to cutting them, just cut them in half so they have a flat base, as you can see like this. That way they don't go anywhere when you cut them. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit because the bacon's almost done. Now I'm only making lunch for myself, so I'm obviously not cooking too, too much food. Uh, but this is about the amount of onions, shallots, mushrooms I'm going to need. I'm just going to need one piece of thyme here for flavor. A little goes a long way. Same thing with rosemary. All I'm going to do actually is put a piece of one of the sprigs in there and I'll be removing it at the end of the cooking process. <clears throat> Bacon's nice and rendered now. Now these guys. Hmm. 
gonna add a little bit of salt to it now to help sweat it out. Adding a little bit of oregano, pepper. Once again, the heat has been turned down. It's a little bit less than medium now. I keep a little small bowl for my garbage, by the way, or in case you guys can post. Now the steak I'm using is just pre-shaved ribeye. I'm not gonna end up using all of it. I'm gonna use about half, which is about 10 ounces. I'm gonna add just about a handful of my shaved cabbage here. Now food's just about ready. Uh, I'm gonna cook the beef in, oh, probably a minute. I'm turning the heat back up now to high. You guys can see what that looks like, I'm sure. All I'm gonna do is pull out the thyme and the rosemary. Those couple little stems there. As you can see, the burner is now cranked up to a high temperature. Put this guy back on there. Let the bottom of the pan heat up really good. Not too long, obviously, because it'll be burning the ingredients I have in there. But for a second, I'm going to let it heat up before I add my beef. Always making sure that you clean as you go. It makes everything a lot easier. So far I just have to wash a cutting board, a knife, a rubber spatula, and a bowl, and then the pan when it's done. Now that the pan's hot again, I'm going to slide the vegetables off to the side, get to the center of the pan where it's really hot, just like that. And then I'm going to put my shaved meat right in the center of the pan here. because you want to brown the beef. You don't want to have boring boiled beef. You want it seared and brown. Something else you're going to see me do is I'm going to season the beef as well, because even though the vegetables have been seasoned, I did not season them enough to also season the beef. And you don't want to season every part of your meal. And you can see the beef get nice and brown, everything's nice and brown. The last thing I do is toss it all together, add my spinach.
And there you have it, lunch. <laughs>